Hey there, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers and channel fans. How are you? It is Lori, and I am here to do your next 48 hours, which you may not see coming. Let's invite in some positive energy here. All right, we're also going to roll that beautiful bean footage. Nope, we're going to roll the zodiac die <laughs> and see what signs you might be dealing with. Strong Cancer. Then you've got Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, and Virgo. You may hear some noise in the background. It cannot be avoided on uh, Thursdays. Okay, I'm reading a day ahead for all your messages. Um, I always do. But Thursdays is lawn maintenance right here at my house and in with all my neighbors. So you hear what you think you hear and I know everybody doesn't hear it I know everybody cannot see the spots on my window but there are people who watch my channel on TV like I watch other YouTube channels on my TV so they do see it they do hear it and if people are wearing earbuds they definitely hear what's going on so I do apologize for that all right let us go ahead and you know what we're gonna do four five Six. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Let's see what's coming up over the next 48 hours. Spirit just called me to do it this way. You are putting an end to something. You're walking away, but you know that whatever you're letting go here, it's going to turn into something beautiful. So I'm hearing that um, for some of you, it's more of a transformation a change of energies, a change of thought processes. It, it's it's an ex, it's definitely an elevation of something. Letting something go so that something better comes in. All right. So what you may not see that coming, or maybe you do. Okay. I'm going to try to reveal things that you don't see coming. We'll get more cards for that though. All right. So. After you let this go, what happens? Look at this, success, elevation. And actually, I'm reading with the after tarot. So yes, these are things that are definitely coming your way. All right. So success, elevation, sharing your knowledge with others. Connecting possibly with a soulmate or a positive energy. This feels more... Today, normally I see this as a couple. Today I'm seeing this as a child, somebody who still needs to learn. And you're sharing that knowledge. They're, they want this knowledge. They want what you have. Okay, so they're looking at this saying, oh my gosh, I'm being blessed. So some of you may be taking on a, um, you may be mentoring someone. On, someone. You may be... Um, apprenticing you know taking on an apprentice an initiate somebody that wants to learn from you beautiful you're definitely elevated after letting go of whatever this is back here definitely elevated smarter wiser i'm also hearing more open-hearted too because you're ready to go ahead and share your knowledge you're willing to do this this is not a trial to you. This is not like somebody coming up to you and saying, hey, can you teach me how to do that? And you're like, no, no, I don't have time for that. No, go learn it yourself. No, this is really positive, good energy here. All right, let's continue on. There is something hidden here from you you do not see. I knew there was something you did not see coming. Spirit told me to do this reading this way. Okay, an end to holding back. Spirit is about to open your heart up, your purse up, your, I mean, I don't know what's going on here. This is huge. Spirit is about to, I'm hearing, wake you up. But not in a, in a sense that you're not awake, that you're not paying attention because you are. You're doing everything the way you're supposed to in order for spirit to bring you this huge wake-up thing. Let's see what else we've got. Okay. All right. So we're going to have to pull cards here because spirit wants to say, after this is revealed to you, and we may not find out what it is. 
we may not find out what's coming to you, okay? If spirit doesn't want it known, it does not want it known. It is going to make you take stock and say, I know exactly what I want to do, okay? You're going to sit back for a little while. You're going to look at everything that you've created, where you are in life. You're going to see the things that are maybe overripe, no good anymore. Just let it go to waste. Just let it go. It'll feed the soil, okay? Letting your fruit and stuff like that that does not work for you anymore, maybe it's overripe, just let it be because it definitely fertilizes for next year's growth. All right, but you have made up your mind here. After you find this out, you know exactly what to do. And you're taking this pentacle, and it's a pretty good-sized pentacle, and you've got your hoe, and either you're digging it up from here because it was that buried Okay, it was that heavy that you needed to loosen things up around it to get to this. Or you're about to go plant that big pentacle somewhere else. Let us see what's going on here. Two, ooh, two of wands. You're sharing a decision with somebody else. All right, so there's there could be some sort of contract, commitment, agreement, plan, goals, strategy, something where you're working with at least one other person on a common thing. Okay, this could be any type of relationship too. This can be parent-child. This could be husband, wife, partners, um, co-workers, friends, everybody. You're both working towards a common goal. You're in agreement and you're being supported. Okay, you you may be the supporting character. Again, some of you may be mentoring somebody here. I'm hearing that actually you're mentoring somebody here and you may be taking this person on as um, to work with you in the future. You're going to continue to guide them. Yeah, look at this. Look, this is the same person here and they're both a little older. They're both a little bit older. That is awesome. So there's wisdom, but it's also um, wisdom and age and a desire to work with. I can't wait to see what comes out here. Spirit, can you tell us more about the high priestess? What is going on here with this high priestess? Will, will you reveal to our, Vir our Virgos? I don't know where that came from. Are you a Virgo? Are you a Virgo rising? Are you a Virgo moon? Why would Spirit have me say Virgo? It was very definitive. And yes, we do have some Virgo energy. Very deep, but it's there. All right, so let's see what Spirit wants to tell you, my Libras. Cross watchers are chanting. Oh, you might be a cross watcher. And <laughs> that's what you want to know. Okay, Spirit's telling me this is the card. The Hermit Virgo energy. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see what else fell out here. Queen of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody is seeking sanctuary here. Seeking an answers, a path to follow to change their destiny. You're facing your demons. Okay, this card here is after the fact. You are facing your demons. You're no longer going to worry and stress. You want emotional control. You're going to look at the past and you're going to put it back into this thing and you're going to put the lid on here and you're going to move forward. Oh, you have a path to follow. You have a path. Okay, you know what I'm hearing? Somebody here is being stubborn and spirit is going to step in and... Take whatever you're holding on to from you. Spirit is gonna about to take it from you. If you do not relinquish your your control over this thought, this thing, this person, spirit's about to take that thing from you. Oof, oof, powerful energy there. All right. So with the hermit card, the Virgo energy there, this could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Um, it could also be just you needing to find a solid path. Now, normally when the hermit comes out from introspection, finding the answers, there's a staff. Well, the staff is now 
the snake that was laying in the path. This hermit has taken control of that snake that was on the path, has a trusted companion here, but is still wielding this snake as a staff. So even if something is working against you, it is going to end up being supporting you. It is going to end up being something for your benefit. You now have a hellhound by your side here. I don't know why I'm calling it a hellhound other than that's what Spirit just told me to say. Hellhounds, I've got to learn a little bit more about them, but they are some sort of um, protection for, from the dead, for the dead, to recall the dead back to hell if they try to escape. I don't know. Somebody drop me a comment. Drop us all a little info here. But you are definitely getting a real grasp on your you who you are what path you want to follow what supports you i'm also hearing divine blessings here that that snake instead of it being on your path you chose to look at that face your fear and we saw that with that nine of swords too where you were facing your demons you're facing your fear um you picked that snake up and said you know what if you're going to get in my way i'm going to put you to good use here Lead the way. Show me, because snakes, they have all the answers. They go in places where humans can't go. So they hear it all, they see it all, and they've got that knowledge, okay? Look at this. Four of Wands over the Four of Pentacles. If you relinquish this, if you relinquish this control that you're, you're, you're desperately hanging on to something here, if it's an idea... If it's a person, if I don't care what it is, whatever you're holding on to here, Spirit's telling you, if you let go of it without me forcing you, there's your four of wands, okay? Huge blessings, huge sense of connected um, connectedness to the people around you, yourself, your higher power. There's so much stability here. There is so much abundance in this, but you've got to open your heart up. See, that's what it is. There's some of you that are letting it go, starting to open up. There's others of you that are just holding back. The The high priestess talks about not speaking, not sharing what she knows, holding her own. And here you are, you're holding your own to the point where spirit's ready to come in and, and knock some sense into you. Sorry. <laughs> I can only give you the message that spirit sends out. All right. Let's, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's, uh, where should we go with this spirit? Where should we take this message into oracles? I'm hearing, oh, look at your life is about to change directions in a very big way through your sheer determination. You are choosing what you want, what you don't want, who you're going to work with, what you're going to do now, looking at your self-worth, looking at your self-worth. That is just crazy. You are really stepping up here. There's a beautiful opportunity coming here for you. Spirit wants to give you a talisman message. So in the next 48 hours, there's a lot you may not see coming. Some of it I have a feeling you do because with this particular death card, it's already like it's a done deal. You've given up on something, okay? And that's what starts all this. It brings in wisdom, elevation, success. All right, let's go ahead and see what oracle message Spirit wants to give you. So if you're not apprenticing somebody or mentoring somebody, I guess I should say, then there's a commitment here between you and somebody else. Like I said, it can be friend, co-worker, career, but you're on the same page. You both want the same thing. Banish a curse. Wow. Over the death card. Over the death card. One more, please, spirit. willpower which is the chariot oh my gosh and on the bottom of the deck you have blessed day all right um banish a curse is not necessarily exactly what you think it is let's go ahead and it is the first card in the in this nope balanced emotions is the first card this card can symbolize unfair treatment towards you a person who has a strong influence in your life may have mistreated you 
or may fail to see your point of view. The actions of others speak about them, not about you. Okay, you have the power to choose how what they do or think or say over you affects you. And your best bet is to not let it affect you at all. Unless you know that what they're saying would be beneficial for you to change about yourself. Your worth does not change based on other people's opinions, though. Okay, it's based on your own. The pain or misunderstanding will go away if you decide not to internalize the negativity. Dwelling over what has been said means reliving the hurtful emotions and letting it control your actions. It's time for you now to take a step back and allow the new positive energy to embrace you. Cut the cord. Banish this curse. Whatever it is, it's how you view it, okay? So take a step back and allow that new positive energy to embrace you. You embrace it in return. Think of what you can learn from this experience and understand that karma has your back, okay? You will gain something beneficial here in the future from moving beyond this. This, I can't believe, the, I can believe the chariot energy came out after we saw the chariot. You are determined to take your life in a different direction. Willpower. It is time for you to channel your willpower through fierce determination and dedication. You have set your objectives, and by applying discipline, commitment, and courage, you will achieve your goals. At times, your target may seem too far away, or people might try to convince you to adjust your expectations, but you alone know the power that you hold within yourself, okay? Stay confident in your abilities and focus on the next step in front of you. The dominant presence of the bull is helping you through the tests of your strength and resilience. Your victory is within reach. Reaching your goal, victory, success, you have to relinquish this. You are the only person who, who can do this besides spirit. If you do it, it'll be a lot more pleasant than if spirit comes in and gives, whacks you with a tower. And I do mean whack you with the tower. It will crumble down around you, okay? And you have a blessed day coming. Spirit wants to give you an eternal crystal message here. Oh, somebody wants me to read the blessed day. I can do that. Let's go backwards. Blessed day. From sunrise to, to moonset, you are blessed with good luck. If you see this card in a reading like you are today, understand that today is your day to act upon your wishes. The silk moth is a symbol of internal transformation and hope. Transformation energy here with a, with a death card, Scorpio energy. Start directing change toward what you want to achieve. It all starts with believing that you can. Joy and happiness will surround you and follow you throughout the day and week. Spread your wings, embrace the beautiful energy, and share it with the rest of the world. I also want to point out that this came out in um, that same energy, same message came out in your long form reading today. And the death card, Scorpio energy, was really, really strong in the... Um, Short reading, I think it was. Maybe it was the long form. I don't know. It's getting to where there's so many um, things happening, interrupting me during my readings. I can't tell you what's what anymore. All right, one more shuffle here. So this is your next 48-hour reading. What I'm hearing that Spirit really wants you to know is to give this up. Let it go. Do not try to seek karma. Do not keep this belief. You know it doesn't work for you. You know this person's not right for you. You know this job or whatever it is is not right. You need to get rid of whatever. You need to change it. It does not, transformation does not mean to get rid of it completely. It's how you view the situation that may be all that needs to change, okay? If it's a toxic situation, then yes, you probably do need to literally get out of that type of situation. Zinsight, physical body, your root chakra, card 44, four and four, stability, 
between you and somebody else. And notice the red of the robes being echoed here in the card. We're going to get you one more. And Garnet, again, another card, 18, which would be 9, releasing. Commitment. That's what we were talking about here, the commitment between you and somebody else or something else, your higher power, a belief, whatever it is. Okay, there is a commitment here. All right, let's go ahead and see what this insight says. Card 44. Yeah, okay, fingers. <laughs> All right, so Zinsight says that it has shown up for you today to send you a strong message about your physical body. Are you focusing on your physical appearance too much? Do you worry too much about your weight or do you need to reconnect with your physical body and get he healthier? Only you can decide what applies to you because it's your body after all. No one else. Think about your whole life that way. If you look at your whole life as your body, nobody else can change your body. You have to be the one to do it. That's the message from spirit. That is the message right there from spirit. Somebody needed to hear it said that way. Your life is the same thing as your body. Nobody can fix your body or change your body or make you walk, talk, sleep, eat, those are all things that you do. And if you want a happy life, then you are the only person who can make that happen. It's not up to anyone else. It's not anybody else's fault. And it's not anybody else's responsibility because nobody else can change it for you. Only you. All right, so Garnet, card 18 says, it's time for you to reignite your passion and open your heart and your soul to positive committed relationships examine the beliefs that you hold about relationships and identify any beliefs which no longer serve you make a conscious decision to let them go let it go in this way you open yourself up for room for new beginnings and you'll be more ready to embrace the changes as they come the transformations oh beautiful energy here beautiful message garnet attracts positive loving energy to you and your relationships you can feel your heart open with love and a sense of fulfillment don't feel guilty for wanting to be happy and successful in a long-term committed relationship you do deserve to have a wonderful life partner who will be there by your side through life's up and downs. However, if somebody is not fulfilling those needs and it is no longer serving you, let that person go. Let that relationship go so that the one that is meant to be there can come in and be there for you. I don't know why this is such an important message today, but this is what it is. Some of you are hanging on to a person. You want them back. You, you're setting your intentions every single day, wanting this person back in your life. Here's the message that Spirit's giving you. It's your body, right? It's your life, correct? Guess what? That person that you want back so bad, if they don't want you, it's their life. It's their body. No matter how strong your intentions are to have that person back in your life, if they don't want to be there, they're not coming back. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be harsh, but Spirit is saying somebody needs to hear that message. All right. And yes, if you let that person go that you're so desperate to have back in your life, the right person will come along. You're holding yourself hostage and not allowing yourself to have exactly what you should have. So if you consider that relationship to be good where they're treating you like crap and not in your life anymore, you're only going up from there, honey. You're only going up from there. And the new partner will be 100% committed to you and they will be equally or you will be equally committed to them okay allow this person to go so that you can bring that new person in all right garnet asks you to stay strong and be hopeful because there are some great things just around the corner for you in your relationship area 
okay? Beautiful message. Sorry if it came out harsh and it's not meant to be judgmental. It's just what Spirit's message is about the situation. Somebody out there is like, I just want this person back. Well, if that person doesn't want you, you need to understand. You can't force them. Spirit cannot force them because all of us have our own willpower. Let's find out what blessings are coming in here for you. You've got some blessings coming in. Good, positive energy here. And of course, that message was not for everybody. So don't take on somebody else's issue, okay? But if you are waiting for somebody to come back, um, yeah, rethink that. Dog, you have protection from a powerful friend. And you know who I'm hearing about? Your higher power, yourself, your source, your God is your powerful friend that wants to see you succeed and be happy. Sorry, these don't belong in here. Yeah. We don't need you being in the frying pan. Trouble and accusations and, and uh, the rat again. But those were from other readings. I just, when I went to pick up the cards, I picked up a couple too many. Let's see what other blessings. Oh my gosh. Yeah, all three of them were at the beginning of the... Let's see what other blessings we have for you, because I'm sure that Spirit wants to bless each and every one of you with wonderful things. You are on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. You're moving in the right direction. Most of you are definitely heading in the right direction. Big achievements, understanding coming your way. Beautiful. Let's get you a soul coaching message, and then we'll close this reading out. Don't forget to tickle, tap, or boop, zap, zing, whatever, the like button there. Claim this in the comments if it's resonating with you. This came out in your daily, too. Um, yeah, claim it in the comments if uh, this message is resonating with you, and I don't take any portion of it that fits and leave the rest for whoever it's meant for. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading from me, go ahead and uh, email me. I'll send you pricing and details. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I would invite you to do so. We have an awesome community, and I know everybody would love to have you join us, okay? Don't forget to click on that bell icon so that you get notified of all of the upcoming messages. I put out three every single day for my lovely, lovely Libras. On Thursdays, you get an extra one if you go over to my new channel, Elemental Tarot, which I still haven't found that. Um, little plaque. It's around here somewhere. Obviously, I moved. I moved my room. I changed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what your other message is. Simplicity. Keep it simple. All right, so you have impeccability, which just means if you say you're going to do something, you do something. If you commit to something, you're going to stick to it, okay? That's just what impeccability means. Not just in your word, but in everything that you do. So if you're taking care of your body and your mind, you're taking care of all aspects of yourself and you're being true to yourself. Simplicity. I love this message. So Spirit is saying, please go ahead and tell this message to you again. The meaning of this card is... Do what matters and release the rest so that you can find peace, grace, and stillness. Please clear out the internal and external clutter, okay? Your soul wants you to know that one of the fastest ways that you can align with the tranquil vibration of the Creator is through simplicity. A busy life and the accumulation of more than what you need creates static. It can be difficult for you to hear the voice of your source, your higher power, when there's mental chaos in your life. Create time to rest and rejuvenate. Clear out the clutter in your home, your computer, your drawers, your mind, your heart. Clear out that clutter. Get rid of it. Anything that's holding you back from being happy and prosperous and abundant, just let it go. Even a small amount of this cleansing can make an immense difference. Create a feeling of simplicity and understand and feel your higher power's grace. Okay? 
beautiful message there for you guys. I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness, and I hope you have a blessed day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.